Hi, I'm John Darrell from The Property Co. As you may be aware, the Southern Shire real estate market continues to produce great results week after week, but a major part of our community are the small local businesses that make the Southern Shire such an amazing place. Over the next coming months, we'll be speaking to local businesses and hearing a bit more about them. And to kick off, we'll be speaking to Dean Spinks, a local artist doing incredible things. Let's go have a chat with Dean and see what he's about. Dean, thanks for having us over today. Um, I have to say, I've been blown away uh, from the first day I saw one of your pieces of art, and it was uh, one of those crushed up cans that you've been doing, um, and I've, I've just been a big fan since. Um, and I have to start and ask, um, what, what possessed you to stop what you were doing and get into art? Yeah, well, I'd, uh, I'd been in my career as a graphic designer for probably 10 years, and it was okay. I liked it, but I didn't love it. And then. I kind of just had this overwhelming desire where I just wanted to wake up and be proud of what I was doing every day. So I had started to draw just to have a little creative outlet and it kind of just snowballed from there and got really popular and really well received and here I am. So. Yeah, wow. Well, my favorite piece of art I have seen, and I've seen you do a time lapse on this, uh, was uh, that beautiful face. It was a face and a black background. I have to ask you, what's your favorite uh, piece of art that you've done? Uh, I did I did a piece uh, that sold at a show earlier this year and I haven't given it a name but and it's kind of hard to describe but it's got two faces one's looking back one's looking forward and it kind of combines two of my favorite disciplines so photorealism and portraiture but it's also abstract and it it just it combines these strange two faces and it, it's just so intriguing to look at and it was really well received, bit of a different direction for me, but um, something I see myself doing a lot more of in the future too. Yeah, that's awesome. So I, I've been studying your, your drawings and your paintings, uh, but I still can't work out what you're painting, colouring, drawing with. Can you tell us what you're actually using when you're, when you're drawing or painting or colouring? Yeah, <laughs> so unlike a lot of other artists that um, draw in charcoal or pencil, I, I, I started out drawing with that, but I'd, I'd kind of um, smudged them and it, I never got the clarity I wanted. So I just went through years of not finishing drawings because um, I'd smudged them. And it, it wasn't until I, start, I worked out how I could draw with pen. And even though it's a tedious and slow process, I can really get the clarity and the depth in there that I want to. So um, I just figured out how to draw using the cross hatching process, which is like just layering thousands of lines on top of each other. Wow. And even though pen's permanent, it um, it's kind of so gradual that you don't make a lot of mistakes. You just make it a little bit darker again and again and again. And yeah, I, I feel like once I worked out how to draw with pen, it was uh, it, it, things fell into place from there. So if you make a mistake with a pen, you can't go backwards, no. but you just got to focus on making sure that there's no no error. Yeah, I, yeah. I make mistakes when I write with a pen, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> you're at another level. Um, yeah. That's really cool, I, I never knew that. So behind me, I see a lot of familiar faces that you've drawn, um, and it leads me to want to ask, who's the most exciting portrait uh, for yourself that you've actually uh, created? Yeah, well, um, the reason I, I like portraiture is because there's so many interesting characters that I get to meet and tell their story and spend 80 hours drawing. And earlier this year, I decided to enter the Leicester Prize, which is one of the biggest portraiture prizes in Australia. And I did a sitting with the Fresh Prince of Southwestern Sydney. Uh, they call him El Fresh the Lion. He's an up and coming um, hip hop star. And right. he's just killing it at the moment. And I went and uh, met him out in Liverpool and sat, sat with him for the day. We did a sitting, talked about the portrait, and then I took a bunch of photos, brought it home, and spent 80 hours drawing his giant beard there. So this one here? Yeah, yeah. It was very well received, and I was just really happy with the result and, yeah. the, and the whole experience as well. So. Yeah, it looks amazing. Important question uh, for anyone that's interested in seeing your work, where can they find you? Uh, if they head to Instagram, Dean Spinks on Instagram. DeanSpinks.art on Facebook or my website, DeanSpinks.com.au. Dean, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank there you. you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Dean Spinks, an incredible talent doing amazing things. I'm John Dale. Speak to you later.